Greetings everyone, and welcome to Anime Night in the Dojo. Today's featured show, Tomo-chan is a girl. Yes, Tomo-chan is a girl, season one, episode nine. Welcome back to the Dojo. I'm Ryu. He is age. We're back for another episode. Uh, coming off last week, hey, uh, we could have like full, uh, you know, reign over the delinquents, the upperclassmen delinquents even. <laughs> that could be Mizuzu's new thing. So that's a thing. Uh, we saw Misaki go full rage mode. That was interesting. <laughs> he, he even did the scary face. Okay. <laughs> the, the scary rage mode face is not to be trifled with. Um, and uh, June and Tomo were uh, festival legends that had their moment <laughs> and then realized, you know, hey, their friendship could change and stuff like that. So... Somehow this show has become the show that we talk the most about among the stuff that we're doing right now, which is mind-boggling, but, <laughs> you know, whatever, it happens. Uh, I didn't think I'd enjoy this show as much as I did Comey, but I, I'd say it's uh, it's pretty much on par with that, so, yeah. Uh, the first couple, of th like, the first two episodes were kind of, yeah, okay, yeah, this is probably going to be watchable, you know, uh, but I think it's been uh, pretty good so far. But, uh, yeah, this episode has one title, so I assume it's going to be one long skit. I mean, an actual episode? Yeah, like a, like an actual full episode, just one thing going on, not the multiple things like festival, then the delinquent stuff, and, you know, whatever. Um, so, uh, <laughs> that's the one thing with seeing episode titles uh, now is, uh, hey, <laughs> kind of gives away a little bit of it, which, uh, is what it is but um i assume this might have to do something with carol's family as uh just because of the title so we'll see could be wrong could be something else but uh i'm in i'm ready so we're gonna push some buttons and see what's up with tomo and the gang this week so here goes something It's a stark difference from a shady bitch. <laughs> I can tell there's more to you than you show. Oh, do you know how much more? Yeah, that face right there. That one. You have an evil spirit <laughs> lurking inside your soul. I advise you to be careful. Yes, sir. It's called a push-up, not a lay-down. So <laughs> steal! Your first match is coming up next! Uh, don't I need more training? Uh, oh no. Uh, uh. You triggered the oh, reflexes. Where am I? You're in my room. Mm, practice? We ended for today. Do you want to hang out with me after school today? Huh? To be honest with you, <coughs> that might be the worst idea you've ever had. I actually agree with you. Then why'd you Fair ask enough. me? <laughs> Yesterday I hung out with June all alone, just the two of us. Huh? We went to the park first, and then we went to his room to play. Oh? Yeah? Did you have a good time over there? And oh yeah, it was fantastic. Face. You're a scary girl. Seriously, you should never be without a responsible adult. Maybe. I may have been a little cruel, but so what? Man, you can drop the cartoon villain act. Just tell me what happened. That's impossible. You're not even going to admonish me? <laughs> admonish? I love you. Sorry. Did I miss something? Are they now the protagonists of the show? What happened here? <laughs> What's going on here? What just happened? <laughs> and you know what? And you know what? I love you too, Kosuke. <laughs> Going full Futaba. Uh, what's going on? You made her angry. You got to apologize. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, I know you fell for it! 
that sure was one full episode. So props for that. It's nice to see one of those every once in a while in uh, shows like this. I appreciate the skits. Don't get me wrong. They're fun. Having a bunch of uh, smaller stories in one episode is, is neat, and I like it. Mm. Uh, but this is nice every once in a while for shows like this to just do something major. And, uh, well, I guess June and Tomo are no longer the main characters of this show, so what do we do? <laughs> well, we're done, right? I, so, first off, two people got kissed this episode. It wasn't Tomo and you. It was Carol twice. <laughs> so, interesting. Why not? Uh, this whole scene was probably a little uh, underrated, considering <laughs> everything's kind of come full circle to now uh, June hiding behind Tomo. Like... Uh, <laughs> Like Tomo's dad hide behind her mom. <laughs> so that's that that was definitely interesting. Uh him coming to the realization that uh girls other than uh Tomo are terrifying and he appreciates what they have because then he'd have to put up with somebody like Carol. <laughs> uh so you know, props for Misaki for putting up with her all these years. Which uh yeah, spooky. It, gotta give them mad props. Though, hey, they did finally get to her, though. I was gonna say, they're not showing her face, and, uh, well, based on June and Tomo's reaction in the hallway, yeah, that that's about what I expected, which, you know, Misaki literally asked for it. Okay? Yeah. He literally asked for it, so that was 100% his fault. And I, I, I know this, because this kind of crap happened to me in high school, too. Most of the time, I was the one playing the role of Misuzu for a bunch <laughs> of my female friends trying to, you know, get uh, guys that they like to notice them. It's like, yes, okay, I'll help you. My God. I probably did that at least like 10 times throughout being in high school. And it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll do. Yeah, I know. I helped her do it too. I'll help you. It's like, oh my God. Am I just like the. Was I Misuzu in high school? That's terrifying. I don't want to think about it. I wasn't her. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I know from firsthand experience. So it's like, yeah, you literally asked for this, man. This is literally what you asked for, and now you're mad at me for it happening? No. <laughs> so uh, it could have gone much worse for him. All he did was get a headbutt and a talking to from uh, Carol's mom. And literally a whistle blown in their face before they could do anything. Real bummer. <laughs> Anybody wants to know what uh, being cock blocked looks like? That's literally what that was. <laughs> you know, once again, Carol's mom heavily shelters her and puts her lay up like nothing to do with boys. Yeah. And she has two centimeters more respect for him now. <laughs> hey, at least that's something, right? <laughs> oh, man. That, that just that whole scene just reminds me of that thing from super bad cock block mclovin man <laughs> anyway uh solid episode for what it was you know uh it was nice to see like just like a full episode um him actually getting one up on june in the dojo was impressive even if it did trigger junichiro's you know automated response you know counter attack which ended him so uh there is that um <laughs> but to be fair uh he did kind of rile up june by making it sound like he was interested in tomo which he's having none of obviously <laughs> yeah he has a bad habit of making himself sound interested in tomo yeah uh <laughs> that was that was most of the showcase of this episode which you know he pissed off june he pissed off carol it's like no you you need to choose your words better, man. Clear and concise. You know, <laughs> let me start this off by saying I am not romantically interested in her. And <laughs> then continue with the praise. <laughs> this might sound like I'm super into her and want to be with her, but it's not. Okay? <laughs> that That's, you know, if I have kids, that's what I'm going to tell them. You know, it's like, no, you have to be clear, okay? Being vague gets you in trouble. 
Let me cite you thousands of anime sources. <laughs> we could say, oh, that's just anime. No. Where do you think they get it from? Real life experiences. Okay. <laughs> Even if there is like, you know, uh, artistic embellishment and stuff like that, stuff like this happens all the time. I know because I've lived it. Okay. Yeah, so. no, most of most of anime slice of life is just normal circumstances, just uh, fictionally dramatized. Yep. So, well, let's not forget that for a second. It's like, oh, that would never happen. It's just like, just because you haven't personally experienced it doesn't mean that uh, <laughs> that it hasn't happened. You know, at some no. point in the history of time. You know, match fixing is not a problem in a world of tanks. No, not at all. OK, you know, p people don't cheat in, you know, X, Y, Z game. That's impossible. Or, you know, th this person would never do that thing. It's like. What? <laughs> you know, it's that whole like if a tree uh, falls in the forest, uh, does it still make a sound if no one's there to hear it? Yeah, sound still occurs. <laughs> anyway. Um, solid episode. You know, it's, it's nice to see that we don't have to worry about June and Tomo being the main characters anymore. I'm looking forward to uh, Carol and Misaki taking over the reins of the show next week, which would be hilarious if they changed the whole intro around to like, you know, kind of do like a joke about it. I would appreciate that. You know, that would be a me thing to do if I if yeah. I was in charge of the show. Uh, I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't happen, obviously, because, you know, let them do their own thing. It's their show. They're going to do what they want. But uh, that's what I would do. You know, <laughs> just like, wait a minute. Well, why, why are they now in the intro and, you know, June and Tomo are in the background? What's happening? <laughs> man, that, that, that would, that'd be something, man. So, you know, if, if I ever do an anime in the future, man, that's, that, that's what's going to happen. You know, we're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to draw a, a series, you know, leading down this line of these two characters and then just like hard swap mid-season you know or, or at this in this case near the end of the season since there's what three episodes left after this so final 25 percent of the season you know just eh, completely hard hard left turn you know this was funny to talk about but uh you know now, now we're hard shifting to somebody else <laughs> <laughs> bet you guys weren't expecting that were you anyway uh since there wasn't a huge amount of like uh, Tomo Junichiro stuff this week, um, not a huge amount to talk about for them, because this was 100%, you know, Carol and uh, Misaki backstory. You know? So, yeah. It's nice that they did that for them. I enjoyed it. It was solid backstory. Uh, it makes sense coming from both sides, you know. Uh, and they resolved their problem in one episode. Props. Moving on. <laughs> So, so much for that, you know, in case anybody thought was that was going to be a long burn. So much for that. They just <laughs> done. Next. The, the long burn is them going to be trying to figure out their relationship alongside uh, Tomo and June trying to get theirs started. Right. It's like, what's your guy's problem? We figured out our stuff in an afternoon. OK, <laughs> well, what's going on with you guys? You've been doing this for holy crap, 10, almost 11 years now. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, though, uh, Carol and Misaki have known each other for pretty much just as long. Fair enough. But still. Uh, oh, I was going to say, um, Misuzu, on the other hand, uh, over here, uh, continuing to put Anne's acting to shape. Yeah, it was impressive. She, uh, she acted uh, for real and then for real. Okay. <laughs> Those are two different things. You know, she actually got Carol to believe her, which she didn't think she would. Uh, and then the uh, going to Misaki's classroom, Oscar worthy performance. She even acting messed up her hair. <laughs> acting all the straw, but then the moment he turns away, just immediately going back to being Masuzu. Yep. <laughs> the uh, got him face. You know, just insert that somewhere in there. <laughs> so, yeah. 
hey, but uh, if we want to talk about progress for June, he's now had two girls in his room. <laughs> you know. So, hey, you know, pr props to him. Uh, not everybody gets to say that, right? So there you go. Uh, that's about it, really. Uh, you know, it was a solid backstory for those two. Um, I did like that uh, uh, Tomo's dad was just like, hey, yeah, you have an evil spirit inside you, man. You might want to uh, might want to watch that. <laughs> That was solid. It's nice to know that he could uh, see right through him. So, uh, as weird yeah. as she thinks her dad is, he was spot on because he's the same way. Mm -hmm. Game recognize game. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even if Carol and uh, Tomo's mom aren't exactly the same, Misaki and Tomo's dad are serving the same roles. So that, that that was interesting. I appreciate that little shout out from almost dead. Yeah, overall, like while I know we've made it, and I'm sure a lot of people make the connection between like June and Tomo's relationship and uh, Tomo's parents' relationship, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're kind of trying to steer away from specifically. Right? Uh, is that we're trying to go for more of a basically trying to go for they want to keep their existing relationship but add romance on top of it right and so if they end up like tomo's parents uh that'll be the pinky tap on the shoulder situation <laughs> yeah we don't want that so it's nice that they're steering it toward the natural outcome of where it needs to be even if the meddling has caused some problems hmm so uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with it. Um, I do. We talked about this before. I do hope that they do. There, there is a second season because I think this show does have more to give. But um, it, it does. It seems to be trending like they might finish up. You know the the initial part that we discussed this season. You know what I mean. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Uh, either way, I'm up for whatever. Honestly, but you know. Once again, yeah, it matters about pacing and it matters about um, what the actual scope of the source material was in the first place. If this is just a typical romance of going until they get together or if it's going to actually be going beyond that. Right. So, yep, yeah, another solid episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, that's all I got. Looking forward to next week, whatever, uh, whatever it may be. Um, I don't know what random slice of life stuff we haven't hit yet. I'd have to like sit down and think about it because the last month, uh, like three months, has been ass for me. So knowledge retention on anything has been spotty. That's why I'm really glad I have my notes. <laughs> we still haven't uh, got hot springs. Hot springs, yeah, that's a thing. Um, uh, we haven't gotten uh, any like sports or cultural festival yet. Yeah, we did have the sports ball tournament. But eh. yeah, yeah, but that was just more like a gym thing. That wasn't like an actual sports festival. Yeah, we got like a major holiday thing, really, either. That kind of deal. Uh, we did have Tomo's birthday. Uh, so maybe June's birthday, something like that. I don't know. Either way, up for whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. You got anything else, Age? Um. Well, this was Carol and Misaki focused. Uh, we still did get some sort of progression with June of him kind of coming to that realization of like, yeah, I don't want a girly girl around. I want what I've got with Tomo, basically. Yep. <laughs> but we saw how that worked out for him. Uh, when you go blue in the face in anime, you know it's serious business. <laughs> So there's that. Uh, either way. Because uh, he, he's had uh, two pretty bad experiences with the uh, girly girls in his life now. <laughs> friggin' uh, this case with Carol and then pretty much his entire history with friggin' Suzu. Yeah, not not a great track record. So uh, 
I, I think he's gonna, you know, appreciate what he has here. <laughs> gonna gonna try very hard not to lose it, obviously. So uh we'll leave you on this fantastic shot. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, beyond however you're watching. We always appreciate you stopping by and hang out with us here in the dojo for more anime night in the dojo. And this was Tomo John is a Girl, Season 1, Episode 9. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon. Whatever it is for you. Have a good one. See you next time. Hey everyone, Victoria here. If you enjoyed the video, please consider pushing that subscribe and like button. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for your time, and see you next time.